everyone, James Mantel here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, I have a very special treat for you all. I was given some wigs, or I should say I was donated some, actually not even donated, I bought these wigs. <sighs> Gotta help my sisters out. We are doing what I like to call a bootleg wig transformation using wigs provided by Yahuwah Hamasaki from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10? Season 10, right? Yeah, yeah, season 10. For RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Hello everyone, welcome to Yuwa Hamasaki's bootleg whip hand-me-down transformation with James Mansfield. And in this series, James Mansfield is going to transform a bunch of wigs that I gave her into spectacular, fabulous wigs. And I cannot wait what you will do this week, James. Here's the big package she sent me. Now I looked through this already. There's some fun stuff in here. I found a bag of wigs that were a bunch that all matched. A lot of them are mostly half wigs. So, there was one lace front in here, and we're gonna use that today. So many wigs. Oh. But if you wanna see me transform more of these, just let me know. Ugh. Alrighty, these are the wigs I have. Now, I have two half wigs, both ranging in color. One's a little darker than the other, but we're gonna make it work. And I have a lace front wig. And these are the three that match the best, so they're gonna be our subjects for today. All right, let's get started. And this lace is cut to like the very, very tip of it. Like you can barely see it anymore, <laughs> which is fine. You know, we'll make it work. Now, this is a lace front wig with a part in it, but we're going to ignore that altogether because we're going to tease this today. All right. Throw her on the head. Oh yeah, she is a beauty shop wig if I've ever seen one. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to do my best to pull out that lace so that it doesn't get like thrown underneath the wig. I have the wig nice and pinned down. And let me just say, girl, this wig is dirty. <laughs> it is covered in oil sheen, Yahua. Let the record show that she did not wash these wigs before she sent them to me. Oh boy. All right, so yeah, this is the wig before. I wanna say asymmetrical, but that's a very kind way to put it. It is more of a blunt cut, a very blunt cut. <laughs> All right, well, Let's try and even it out first. Let's do that before I start teasing it. Okay, so we gotta make this match this. And since I'm gonna tease this anyway, I don't care how I cut it. Your shaver armpits. Huh? <laughs> That's a good question. Use my code for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. Serving you some Julia Roberts realness right now. Let's see Trixie do that. All right, now let's get it started on teasing this wig. Let's grab a section. And let's just start going ham on this. <sighs> She's looking cute so far. Oh my God, you like my hair? It's hand ventilated by Ernie Ray. <laughs> he ventilated this blonde patch on the Candace, my premium wig from James Mansfield Beauty. 250% density, click the link down below. All right, we're just gonna tease that down to as much of the roots as possible. And one thing to note about these wig shop wigs is for the most part, it's going to be the most trouble is getting the hair to go down to the roots. I don't know what it is about the hair texture they use or like the style of the cap or what, but the hair always just wants to gather like in this section. So you really have to like do due diligence to make sure it goes all the way down to its roots. Okay, take your pick and push it down to the roots to make sure it really sits there because that's going to be the part you're going to have the most trouble with with these beauty shop wigs. I don't know what it is, but every time I style one out, that's always the one thing that gives me the most trouble. I don't think she's going to do it. I don't think, I don't, I, 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 I'm not buying it. All right, let's get this wig all teased out. <laughs> all right, we are back. I teased the whole base wig out and it kind of looks like Yahuwah when she did that grudge look at the reunion. <laughs> look at that. Or like um, Robert Smith from The Cure. There's many looks you can do with just a wig like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna style it up as much as I can. And then we're gonna start our pieces. Yes, we're going to add some hair pieces to this to create a triple stack. We're going to do like a bionic bob. And the one downside about these beauty shop wigs is like, it's very rare that you get a hairstyle out of the front of it that looks any decent. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to work my best with it and see what can happen. Because chances are the hairline ain't going to look natural. The best bet with these beauty shop ones is honestly just get a hard front one and make a hairline out of it because the hairline is going to be like some big old rounded mess no matter what you do. And the insulting thing is that this wig actually has baby hairs cut into it. <laughs> and you pull some down, there's little teeny tiny baby hairs that they cut on the wig. And it's like this offensive hairline, girl. All right, we just smooth section by section. 
Yeah, I like what's going on here. So we're gonna keep this base as solid as possible. That way when we start adding hair onto it, it's not gonna all fall apart or like screw up the front. Okay, now that I had the front just the way I want it, this is the best we're gonna get probably. So I'm not gonna mess around with it anymore. All right, I'm gonna separate as much of this hair here as possible. So I have the front all sectioned out. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Let's create a valley. This is all getting sectioned out and we're gonna section out the front section. That way we have a place to put our join. All right, now it's time to start the join. I'm gonna take a wig. This is a wiglet or a half wig. It's basically a wig that is missing the whole front portion. It doesn't have ear tabs. It's a part that goes in the back of your head to create like a fall effect. There's many names for it, a half wig, a wiglet, a fall. This isn't quite a three quarter fall, but it's along the similar lines. You can use it for ponytails or for adding a little more volume to the back of your head. What we are going to do is we're gonna cut the length of this. That way it'll tease up a little easier. There we go. All right, throw her on the back. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's get her started. I'm gonna grab my brush and just pull sections. And this is easy. Just start packing the hair down. Grab the section she just teased and lace it. All right, and we're just gonna do this for the whole half wig and our second half wig. We're gonna repeat the process. We cut the hair off of it and tease it. That way we have two little tease sections that we're gonna smooth out and combine. All right, I'm gonna finish this girl off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, I have this wig ready to go, and I have two teased out half wigs. Alrighty, let us get started. First things first, I am going to smooth out as much as possible. Just catching the surface of it. A little spray, spray of encouragement. All right, now, here we go. Let's tilt her down. Got a nice cloud of teasing right here. Flip it on in. Use those combs and click her in. All right, and for extra security, bobby pins. Because those combs ain't gonna be enough. And this is why we separated that section and made sure that it was teased down to the roots. Because it's getting pushed around but it's keeping its shape, this bang area here. So I don't have to worry about it getting all ruined when I'm pushing it all around to get the shape I want and to get this thing clipped in. Yeah, be mindful of these half wigs because they are very useful. You can cut them in all sorts of lengths and use them to like combine with wigs to get really great double stacks. It's just the problem is they only really come in like naturalish colors. So if you like a brown, a brunette, and maybe like a 613, you can find one. And that's a big maybe. They're about the only thing I ever buy from wig shops anymore. Also, they're not cheap. Like half wigs can cost you upwards of like 50 bucks. I don't understand why they're so expensive. And that looks great. That would be good for just a plain double stack, but we want to go even bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the back of this and we're going to stuff our next bump and make it even huger. <gasps> Guys, this is what you call magic. All right, got our second half wig. I'm smoothing out that surface. Part some hair on that the same way we did this. Take a bag, stuff it inside. Pin that on there, just like that. And this one you have to be really, really careful with. If you're doing a triple stack, always use lots of bobby pins. I'm only using a few here because, well, I'm not gonna be wearing this wig to perform in so I don't have to really worry about it. But if you're gonna be doing this, use as many bobby pins as you think you need. Like, do not play with this. Be overly cautious because you don't know, you don't want your hair to fall apart on stage, which has happened to me before. When I first started doing drag, one of the things I was known for in Milwaukee was having gigantic hair. It was something I like overcompensated with because I didn't feel good about my like, makeup skills. So I always made sure I had the most impressive hair I could have. I was a hair hopper. <laughs> Yes, I would have gigantic wigs. I had ones that were at least like six wigs all combined. Towering hair. And the way I describe them here makes them sound a lot more grandiose than they were. They're essentially, 
you know, one wig that I styled and then the rest were all half wigs that were pinned on top of my head that had a similar style, but not completely. So there are curls that were like, they didn't really match. I just bought close enough to it because I was lazy. I didn't want to like set all those wigs. I would stuff them with garbage bags. Like I'd have like 19 garbage bags all rolled into a huge ball. And then I'd put that underneath the wig and pin it down or sew it. And then I would repeat the process on the wigs until it was like sky high. And honestly, with good teasing, you don't even have to do all of that. If your teasing is good, you don't have to worry about overly stuffing a wig. And when it comes to big hair like this, it is all about the fluffy tees. Like for your back pieces and everything, it don't have to be teased all the way down to the roots really hardcore. You only worry about that for the front section. <laughs> all right, we are back. I'm gonna use my best tools of all, my fingers, and go through the bottom of this and just detangle any little kinks. You could also use a hair pick, but I know what I'm doing. I've done this so many times, I'm not worried about it. Just separating all of our ends so that we have a nice, clean end to work with. Okay, now that that is all taken care of, what I'm gonna do now is push our bang over here and we're gonna start styling it out. All right, here we go. Smoothing brush. Tilt her a bit. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. That front section maintained its shape beautifully. Now all we have to do now is combine the front with the back, which is the hard part is making sure that your back pieces and everything all line together and they're all going the same direction and it all looks intentional. This is the process. Just smoothing slowly, bringing that brush through and smoothing down with your hand. And our hair pick and just pull up hair for symmetry. You want height and you want volume. So that's what we're going for here. Okay, that is where I, exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna go in and start free spraying it. And not too much of the got to be glue because it can leave like a gray film over the hair. Want her to look like a bionic Jill Valentine. Ooh, Resident Evil 3 is right around the corner. Might just wear this for a let's play. Now I just need like a blue tube top and a leather skirt. All right, and the rest of this is just smoothing over and going through with the pick and bringing up the volume. Now, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and I will be right back with our final wig. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God. <laughs> this thing is huge. Thank you so much for the wigs, you who. Oh my gosh. And if you guys like this, let's do a series on it. Let me know down below. I have a whole box full of wigs from you whoa. <laughs> This wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my wig smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. Thankfully, I have Manscaped. Use my code Mansfield for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. And as we close out this video, I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment. I want to thank all the folks who tipped me on Venmo. Okay, I would like to thank Alicia, Chad, Jesus, and Jacob. Thank you so much for the tips on Venmo. Your support helps keep this channel running, especially in these difficult times. With your tips, it keeps tacos in this stomach and hair styled. Thank you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to James' channel. And also, if you want to watch this week's bootleg opinions for Drag Race, come to my channel. My name is Yuwa Masaki. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch me transform a wig from Leg Avenue. Or see my very first wig tutorial. I'm reacting to it. It's good. You don't want to miss it. If you don't click it, I'll help you find out what happened to Carol Baskin's husband. Allegedly. So click it.